Hi everyone, it is Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're well, I am wonderful. We got the big insiders off to a roaring start on Tuesday, another edition comes Wednesday. We got insiders every weekday, whether it's K-State flavored or Big 12 flavored, Monday through Friday at this YouTube channel, 1 p.m. Come check it out. And a topic came up on Tuesday's insiders that I thought, that's a good DD. I need to make a confession. First, your reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I think we made it over 12K. I haven't checked today, but we were on the cusp. The cusp, that means the very edge, the cusp. I think we're there. And also leave the thumbs up and uh, leave those comments. I like the comments a lot. It makes me feel like I have friends. On with the DD and the repercussions of Nick Saban retiring are still going across the college football landscape. Uh, just a few days ago, it wasn't that long ago, Nick Saban retired at Alabama. And that meant there was an opening at Washington, then became an opening at Arizona, and now became an opening at San Jose State. That's right, San Jose State's in scramble mode right now because their head coach just took the Arizona job, which was part of the falling dominoes tipped off by Nick Saban. Who knows who they'll hire and then someone else will have a problem. And it's important for athletic directors to have someone in the back pocket. These things are moving really quickly because as soon as that coach leaves, your players have 30 days to hit the portal. And one day can mean you lose enough players where it's a problem. So coaches are getting hired pretty quickly, which is bad for our business because coaching searches are a pot of gold, but I understand exactly why it's going on and why ADs need to basically be prepped for that quick hire. All because of the transfer portal. You know, when Saban stepped away, Deion Sanders, who's friends with Nick Saban, they do those insurance commercials together, said, you know, even the GOAT has gotten run off by what college football has become. That's true. And of course, he's referring to the NIL, which is here because of court rulings, and the transfer portal, which is also in existence because of court rulings. But the transfer portal is at a stage right now where it's unsustainable. College football can't do this. The coaches can't do this. They can't keep up with it. And my first reaction to Dion saying that was to wince because he took 45 players out of the portal. But now I'm like, those are the rules. He could do it. And it was to his advantage to do it. And now I've come back around. I don't fault Dion for doing that, but I do like the fact that he recognizes that this is an issue. It's a huge issue. And they have to find a way to work around this and work with the courts to make it a little bit more sustainable. You can't just let this chaos blow up the great game of college football, but it's headed that way. We're headed for a major exodus of coaches who just simply cannot keep up with the strain of the transfer portal, the NIL, and everything else that always went with college coaching. It's a mess, and Dion's right. If the GOAT can't take it, nobody can. 